Okay. Oh, good morning. Today is Saturday. A winter is here anyway, as you know already, January. I'll just tell you, apart from yoga, what I'm doing on a daily basis. From from chemist, I bought vitamin, vitamin D3 and K2. I'm taking daily. This you can buy. This is vitamin D3, 3,000 units, and K2 is 100 micrograms. And also, I'm taking B12 for the last six months. I'm not short of B12, I'm still taking it to supplement it. And obviously, also, I'm taking Swami Jeevan Corny, how to mix the herbal medicine with natural herbs as well. And natural medicine is very important. So I'll talk just a couple of minutes about vitamin D3 and K2. They work like a Batman and Robin. They are good on their own, but much better together when they work together. Both vitamins are fat soluble. They work together to metabolize calcium in your body by activating helpful property protein. Vitamin K2 breaks down the calcium in our bodies, and this effect helps to prevent hard deposit of calcium and fatty material to form plaque and so on from artery of the walls artery, and, and takes it away but it's not required to the structure of the bone to make the bone stronger. So K2 may lower the risk of cardiovascular damage and improve overall healthy heart and also help to improve your bone density. Reduce the risk of bone fracture, which is more predominant with the elderly. And also, K2 might slow down or stop cancer cell activity as well. Very important. So, what's the benefit of K2 again? Just to summarize it K2 and D3 work together in correct doses to help absorb and transport calcium to the correct place on your body. Two, regulates and controls the body's effectiveness of absorbing phosphorus and calcium, which provides density and strength to your teeth and to your bones. Help to maintain optimum blood sugar level. Support your ligament and your joint mobility so you don't have pains when you're moving muscles as well. So what we're I take 10,000, but what I'm recommending now, which you can buy regularly anywhere at all in online, uh, 3,000 units of D3 and 100 microgram of K2 per serving, which will give you healthy heart and healthy joints. So really, uh, that's the message for today. So try to take, uh, at least this is more important, D3 and D3, also to increase your immune system as well to fight infection, D3 as well, which, which is very important. So let's start the class today, sitting in Gyan Mudra. Good morning to Navita as well. She's in class with her, I'll just introduce again. She's been all, she was in a holiday mood for some time. <laughs> so I'll just put her back on again. She's on today. So we'll be doing the class today again. So let me just start that. So what I want, what the plan for today is, I'll do the morning exercise, what we do up to the Bastika, and then anxiety, and then do the nitric oxide, and then the yogging jogging, and then Navita will take over from there to do the other exercise. Is that okay, Navita? Yeah. That's it. Thank you. I'll take you off the thing. <laughs> Yogi, this is I've got folks in the garden, so talk about them. This is it. Yogi, come go, go in there.
Sorry, the fox came in the garden, so the dog will start barking away. You're going to stop on the way. <laughs> so let's sit in the Gyan Mudra, back straight, and take for 10 seconds gentle deep breathing to connect your body and mind together. Excellent. Next, sitting in Yal Mudra, back straight, eyes closed. We take a deep breath and chant Om for three times. Uh -oh. Still keeping your eyes closed, take your both hands up in there, rub them together. At least for 10 to 20 seconds to create enough heat in between the palm of your hand. Then cover your face with it. Open your eyes between the closed palm of your hand, feel the heat. Keep it there until the hands cool down to body temperature and then rub over your forehead, around your eye, I felt the nose, the V-shape, I the self here, and the back of the head, neck, hands. This keeps the body in active state to get the maximum benefit of prana. As I've been saying for the last three, four months, to promote your health, your posture needs to be right. Because lung has got no strength. So to make sure our, when you breathe in, your lung to expand, your diaphragm can go down, your stomach comes out, and when you breathe out, the stomach goes in, pushes the diaphragm up, and compresses the lung to exhale the layer. To do that, you have to do some posture exercise. First one is put your right hand on the left knee and take it across as far as you can. Try to stretch your rib cage. Put your chin down and hold it for five to 10 seconds. Excellent, well done. Do the exactly same thing with left hand on the right knee. Take a cross and put the chin down. Well, done. now we do the both hand cross like this, either side of your knee, and take it right across as far as you can, and then put your chin down. This will help to stretch your rib case so the diaphragm can go down further to give you more space for lung to expand. Excellent, well done. Next, put your both hand there. As you breathe in, as you breathe out, engage your shoulder and go forward. Hold left again, five to 10 seconds. What do we can? And come back, breathing in. Excellent. Next, put a namaste. It's not just namaste, why you trying to do right hand pressure on the left hand, left hand on the right hand. So first you breathe in, as you hold your breath, put the pressure on each other, hand, so there's no movement because the pressure is equal in both sides. And breathe out. Once more. Excellent. 
excellent. Now still keeping the pressure on as you breathe in, you go up. When you come down, you breathe out. Remember, this whole month of January, we're doing exercise to weight loss. So everything we're doing, reducing the quant reducing the number of exercise, but increase the quantity. Very good. Next, make it both hand tight first. For 10 times, take clockwise breathing. Make sure both are breathing in like. I do the reverse. And relax. Then breathe in and breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Excellent. Just shake your hand up if your hands are sore. Relax. Next, put your both hand there. You breathe in and do the scissor action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, excellent. Next, just take your hand right like that. You're trying to use all the different muscles in the body. And do the reverse. And the second one is take your hand up the top. You get the whole shoulder blade go up like that. Now do the reverse. Next, as you go behind, you touch your five finger. When you go forward, you do that. Excellent. Next, you can do some hand exercise for preventing any problem of the hand and of the neck and so on. Very good for people who have arthritis of finger. If you do that for 50 times, that will get rid of joint pain in your fingers. Kartero, kartero. Jitna kam karoge utna darad dur bhagega. Next, make a thumb inside and fresh, tight fresh.
excellent. Let's put your both hands there, as you breathe in, and breathe out. This is very good for carpal tunnel as well. Next, make a tight fist, both hands together. Keep doing it. And do the opposite. Then put your knuckle together as you breathe in. As you breathe out, without opening the knuckle, go far forward as you can. Excellent. Next, put your hand there as you breathe in and jerk up forward. Breathe out. Very good for tennis elbow and frozen shoulder. Like keeping a hand there, go sideways. Then keeping your hand there, like this. Then do the reverse. Excellent. Now interlock your finger, take it all the way back up, breathe in and breathe out. Excellent. Now interlock your finger, put it in the back of the head. Very good for making your neck muscle stronger and prevention of spondylitis. Take a deep breath in. Holding your breath, put the pressure hand against the head and head against the hand for five to 10 seconds. And relax. Once more. Excellent. Now do the same thing on the forehead. You counterbalance it. Then with the right hand. <coughs> then left hand. And then massaging your leg, rolling the shoulder line. Very good for knee pain, frozen shoulder, and you're learning to love yourself. Very important. We do that 50 times today. No, I'm just kidding on. 10 times. Otherwise, looks will take a pagala. 
अपने को इतना प्यार करता है कि दूसरे को भुला गया जो अपने को प्यार करता है जिन्हें श्याल दे जो दूसरे को प्यार करता है और तो बीमार करता है उटन Look at the ceiling and be there. <sighs> Excellent. Next, we're going to do like a pendulum. Breathe in and be there. Excellent. Now breathe in the middle. As you look behind your back, breathe out. Excellent. Now gently, not too fast. Just listen to your own body. Go slowly. Take your hand on the circle. And if you have a spondylitis, then don't go the whole cycle. Then just do halfway like this. Otherwise, you can go right round. Excellent. Now we do the reverse. Excellent. Now we will do some kapalbhati with certain certain posture to improve your full full shoulder prevention. First, take the eagle pose with your both hand in the front. And try to wrap your right hand around the left hand like this, like this, round like this. Look up and do kapalbhati for ten seconds. Excellent. Now do the same thing with left hand. Wrap around the right hand. Excellent. All these are very important for prevention of frozen shoulder, especially people with diabetes, knee no problem. Also in winter time, most people tend to get frozen shoulder as well. Next one is take your right hand at the back, go mukhasan para pe. Use your left hand to push you as far back as you can, and take your left hand behind your back, uh, almost there. All you can do is use a napkin or a socks or a be rope with a knot. Pull yourself together, look up, and do kapalva. Last time when I went to Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, doing yoga training, minus twenty degree temperature. When I came back to Glasgow, I had a frozen shoulder. These are the exercises I did myself to fix myself up. And do the same thing with opposite hand, lift up. So I know it works. It's all good for prevention, and also it's good for if you're having it, get rid of it. Next, bring the muscle behind your back like this, and do kapalbhati for thirty seconds. Very good for prevention of frozen shoulder.
इफ यू स्माइल यू गेट डबल द बेनिफिट मुस्कुराते रहिए अजमोन भाई बोलते हैं जितना मुस्कुराओगे उतना फायदा बढ़ेगा आपका हम लोग स्पेशली गुजराती भाई बहन तो कम मेहनत से ज्यादा प्रॉफिट चाहिए उनको <laughs> तो रियली यू ऑल्सो बी लुकिंग फॉर टू दिस Excellent. Just shake your hand up. Just rub them together again. You got a lot of posture for the thing, mate. Now we will do for the spine. Put your hand like this. One of the best exercises this is, and also improves your digestive system. It will take all the way back up. Your hands should be touching the ear. You're fully stretched, and do Kapalbhati, focusing on your spine for thirty seconds. Excellent. You've been sitting for some time. Now you stretch your legs. You shake them up. As I said to you, this whole month of January we're doing a weight loss class. So I'm not going to save for the whole month of January. Until I my so far I've lost one and a half kilo in last two days, last week. Do it slowly, gradually, and maintaining it. Very important. You still have the same lifestyle. Do yoga daily, morning and evening, and just be careful what kind of food you're eating. Just, just focus on your diet. Excellent. Now take your right leg over the left leg. So after end of the month, you might think I'll become like a Santa Claus. You know, <laughs> so, there's nothing wrong with that. End of the, you have to. I learn to judge people from inside out, not from outside in. Very important. Right hand behind your back, supporting your left hand comes up like that. Twist yourself towards the left side, right side. So you're exercising every organs on left side and your spine as well. Do Kapalbhati for thirty seconds. This will also help you to increase your metabolism, help you to lose weight as well. Because this one also exercising your spleen as well, which is part of the digestive system, to increase your immunity as well. The same thing with left leg over the right leg, left hand supporting your back as close to your body as possible. That makes the spine straight. A right hand comes across. So you're twisting your body towards the left side. So exercising all the organs on the right side: your right lung, liver, gallbladder, right kidney, and so on. Plus you're twisting your spine. Up. Another good exercise for the spine is put your both hand there. You take your right hand behind your back, and left hand just twist it. Hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. Breathe in and breathe out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Next, put your both hand there. You're using your not your spine, not your back, but you use your spine to strengthen your spine muscle. Do this one as you breathe in, go back, and you breathe out from the tight in your butt, and use your pelvis muscle to go down. Breathe in. <clears throat> Mm. 
And if you want to lose first, exercise more of your stomach, then you go first right leg, for the right leg, then come back, breathe in, and then go to the left leg. This way, this way you're exercising your intestine as well, large and small. Excellent. Next now, put your support right hand on there. Use your right hand to go down as far as you can even support the right hand on the floor. Using your side muscle to stretch and hold it for one, two, three. Then come back. You go for this. One, two, three. One, two. Excellent. Next, we're going to do the both hand up there, using your pelvis muscle to twist around the circle. Pelvis muscle plays a very big part. It strengthens your tailbone muscle, prevents the lower back problem as well, and do the opposite. Excellent. If you're sitting on the floor, one of the best exercises for pelvis muscle is strongly, and the tailbone is butterfly. So if you're sitting on the floor, do a 30 times butterfly. If you're sitting on the floor, if you're sitting on the chair, just do this from that will do also exercise your pelvic muscle. Excellent. So we've done a lot of exercise for the spine as well. And now to relax the muscle, we do the Merudan Mudra. Put your tight fist, just one exercise we'll do this way, pointing up the way, and focusing on the bottom part of the spine. What this mudra does is fixes the top part and it stretches the bottom part like elastic band. So any kind of lower back pain goes away just by doing this mudra. Next, we're going to do some acupuncture by lung meridian. Tap it there. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Next, put a cap there. Cap it there. One. Last time. And what other exercise do you like that? Rub your hand together. 
for 20 seconds, trying to generate a lot of heat between the palm of your hand. And then keep your clap together, like probably done the one, two, one, two, three. But doing that, you exercise every single part of the body. And one of the best exercises for lung and other part of the body is the laughter. Open your arms up and give really give a big laughter. Ah, 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 which is able to release pain and makes you happy as well, makes you feel better. Very important. Next, we're going to do some exercise to energize the lung through the meridian, Mayatura Mudra, in Gyan Mudra, Chin Mudra. We just do that for time, time is going to be limited. We do that for 10 seconds. On Chin Mudra, just keep breathing. We're still keeping the chin mudra with the kapal bhati for 30 seconds. We do the Adi Mudra. Make a tight fist like this and inside. Adi Mudra, put thumb inside, make a tight fist and do the Adi Mudra. This sends the prana to the top section of the lung. And do Bastiga for 10 seconds. Next, we do Kapal Bharti for 30 seconds. Excellent. Next, we need to do, before we do that, we will do some alum bilom. Alum bilom is one of the best exercises to clear any blockage in energy channel. That's what we're trying to do. So in Sunnavayu Mudra, left hand, Sunnavayu Mudra, right hand. You do it for just for one minute. What your mind thinks, body delivers. We're doing this to clearing any energy channel or any blockage in the body. Let the energy flow freely. Excellent. Now we're going to do some gentle exercise, just a gentle, gentle one to expand the lung. You open up, Anna. 
Excellent. Let's put the hand there. Excellent. Make a tight face as you go up your breathing. Now we're going to do the very first pranayama of Bhastika, sitting in Gyan Mudra and in Kichri Mudra and meditate on third eye or this point or follow your breath. This will give the body the vitality. Don't let your mind wander anywhere. Bring it back to yourself. Kichri Mudra helps you to do that. So one of the best mudra for meditation brings your body my body brings your mind to focus on your body yourself Early life. Take your both hands up in there, rub them together. And go. Excellent. Next, we want to release some anxiety. But before we do that, one of the good exercises for the lung also is the Kapal Bhante. You're using a lung like a bellow. So, this is also a good time to do for one minute Kapal Bhante focusing on your lung and you're trying to, which mudra would you do? But also we're doing a weight loss as well. So we do the Udan mudra, put your four fingers together like this, twisting right into
Excellent. So with this capacity, you managed to expand your lung, and also you managed to correct your thyroid gland a bit to improve your health as well. Well, a good exercise for thyroid also is tongue exercise. You stretch your tongue and try to touch your nose with it. Hold it for five to 10 seconds once more. Excellent. Take your tongue out and sew it right, left, right, left for 20 times. This helps to activate your thyroid gland. Also very good for sleep apnea, snoring, and activates the biggest nerve around your face. Any problem in your face will go away. Excellent. Now, next, you take a tongue out as far as you can and suck it back in. Next, you need to make a noise like a patpatia, motorbike. Take a deep breath in. One more. Looking for a towel, sorry. Excellent. Which is very good to activate your throwing gland again. Next, we want to release, and also for double chin as well, you can do that as well. Put your chin up and take your leg tongue out and take out. That will also activate your thyroid gland and also get rid of your double chin as well. Excellent. Next, we will release anxiety by breathing in and breathing through the mouth, twice the length of breathing in. And for last time. Next one is you breathe in three times deeply and four times you breathe in and cough loudly for three to four times. Help to clear any plaque deposit in your artery and also to remove any fluid, any kind of foreign material in your lung as well. Excellent. This time you breathe in and cough loudly for three to four times. Stay <coughs> down for five to ten seconds, whatever we can. Again, breathe in and cough again. <coughs> Excellent. Next one also to release anxiety, you can press the thymus gland. Tap it or press hard and do Kapal Bharti for 10 seconds. Excellent. Next is because we're doing the weight loss, you have to improve your digestion. To improve that, you need to improve your near the maniput chart, your liver, your pancreas, and your spleen. Swami is given one of the best exercises for that is Mandukasan. So people who have, don't have a knee pain, they can sit in Bajasan or Sukhasan, whichever asana you feel comfortable with. Otherwise, you can sit in the chair the way I'm sitting, make a tight fist as you breathe in. Breathe out completely. <laughs> Put that on your just right below the belly button there, and you go down and look up and do Kapalvati for 30 seconds. <laughs> I 
I gently come up within night. It is our once more. And come back up, breathing in night. Next is your liver and your spleen. Make a tight twist again. Same as if we breathe in. Breathe out completely and put the right hand onto the liver, left hand to the spleen, and you go down and do Kapalvati for 30 seconds. Excellent. Come back up, breathing in once more. Excellent. Roll up. Take a couple of deep breaths as relax. Get the back in the tune. Now we're going to do the nitric oxide exercise, very important. Take your glasses off, close your palm to close your earlobe. Focusing on and put your teeth against, put your tongue against the teeth, that sense of vibration around the nasal passage. That will able to create 30% more nitric oxide in the nasal passage to kill the virus. Also, with just now with COVID-19 been increasing, make sure you also you do the steaming every day. That is self able to kill the virus as well. So take a deep breath in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for last time, excellent. Now let's we'll stand up and do the nitric oxide exercise now. So please be all stand up. You all know what to do, I'll highlight the whole group. Next is the dead man walk. Excellent. Next is the dead man star jump.
Next bring hand there, lifting the weight up all the way up. Excellent. Next, we're going to do the uh, yogi jogina. So let's. Uh, I'm 
sitting on, just sit in Gyan Mudra. Every time you do physical exercise, you activate the sympathetic nerve system. The body releases more cortisol. So you have to deactivate the, activate the parasympathetic nerve system. By sitting in Gyan Mudra and Kishri Mudra for 30 seconds. Take your both hands up in there, rub them together. Namitaji, do you mind unmuting yourself? And it's all the weight loss class we're doing, so just whatever you want to do for weight loss. Thank you. So. Good morning, anyway, to you, Namitaji. Everybody. Morning, namaste to everyone. Hope you had a lovely holiday, <laughs> lovely break. <laughs> Good, excellent. Good. Yeah, I, I did. It's Thank a festival. You. Festival period, everybody had certain commitment. Thank you very much for all your support. Yes, no, thank you to you and thank you to everyone. Um, so we'll do Surya Namaskar. <laughs> 
because Surya Namaskar gives a total body workout. But if you are unable to do Surya Namaskar for any reason, uh, the actual one, you can still do it on chair because Surya Namaskar really tones up. It is designed such a way that it tones up all of the body part, especially if you're looking for weight loss and your tummy muscles. It has been designed such a way that it has counter poses incorporated in Surya Namaskar. So we'll do four rounds of Surya Namaskar, not much because um, time is also limited. Okay. So Sarvanji will demonstrate the chair version. Okay. But I'm just going to take it to a wider angle so that you can see me better. You can see me fully, yeah? All right, so first thing we are going to, and Surya Namaskar, it is important to do the breathing in and out properly, even if you don't get the each pose right. I mean, right means almost uh, like perfection. So main thing is you have to do the right breathing in and out. And it's crouching forward means you're breathing out. Anytime you're rolling backwards, you are breathing in. I think all of you know, but just want to ensure. Okay, so first you start breathing in. As you join your palms together, you're breathing out. And you're ready. Start breathing in. As you take your hands all the way up. Bend backwards only if your body can take it, otherwise stay straight. Hold it, push your lower hip forward. And now, as we have all crossed middle age, we should make sure before we start bending, push your bottom behind. Start breathing out, keep breathing out. And reach down as much as your body can allow. And now, you should always start Surya Namaskar at the beginning of the mat. I started at the end. That's why I have to move forward. Then you are going to take your right leg all the way back. Your palms and the foot, left foot is in the same line. Now, some youngsters can keep their legs stretched all the way behind, but we will all take our knee down. So toes and knee down to the floor. You're breathing in still. Or if you're taking the air out, no problem. Again, breathe in and look up if you can. But if you have vertigo or any spondylitis problem, you can't bend, back, bend your neck backwards. Don't do it, you look straight. Okay, breathe out. And then you're beginning to mountain pose. Take the left leg back. So both the legs together, maximum push. You push your palms, push your feet against the floor to so get maximum stretch. And head tuck in between the hands to look at your belly button. Okay, here completely breathe out. And now we're going to bend our knees down to the floor as we are starting to breathe in. Breathe in, big breathe in. As we're going down, breathe out, head down to the floor. Now this step is something that I do. If you want to skip this, no problem. And then shuffle forward. Okay, I'm just going to lower my camera a little bit down. Shuffle forward. And this is the pose where eight parts of your body, eight points of your body will be touching, very relaxing and this pose is very good for anxiety relieving. It, that's why Surya Namaskar is designed beautifully to balance everything. So this is Ashtanga Namaskar pose where your toes, both knees, then chest and then your chin and both the palms. That's it. These eight points should be on the floor. Okay, completely breathe out. Hold the breath if you can for one or two seconds. And then before you come up in Bhujangasana, push your legs behind. First thing, you have to do tighten your bottom muscle. And open, roll your shoulders back, open your shoulders. Elbows should be touching the body. Come up, breathe in, come up. Again, you look up if you can manage, otherwise look straight, hold it. And then start breathing out. Then bring yourself back into mountain pose or parvatas. Okay. And now we are stepping forward using our right leg. 
and again same back to same pose looking up or looking straight breathing in and as you breathe out the other leg on the wobble <laughs> okay so now here you bend as much as you can and palms on the feet or on the floor head down completely and as you breathe in big long breathing and bend or straight breathe out back to namaste so that was on the right side and we always balance it to do it on the left side as well okay so we go again breathing hands on the way up hasta uttanasana starting to breathe out pushing bottom behind going for pada hastasana now now this time left leg backwards as we are breathing in and this is called ashva sanchalanasana and breathe out take the right leg back nice big stretchy mountain pose feel the stretch keep it out as we are starting to breathe in as i said this step if you don't want to do you can skip but i like doing it breathe in breathe out this is shatasana or thai pose breathe in shuffle forward breathe out hold the breath for few seconds now pushing the legs behind tightening your bottom muscle or glute muscle opening your shoulder sticking the elbow to the body breathe in come up bhujangasana starting to breathe out back to parvatasana stepping forward using the left leg and again back to ashvasana chalanasana which is the horse riding pose and right leg beside the left leg and palms on the floor or whatever that you can manage and back in hasta uttanasana which is the raised down pose pushing the low your floor namita anybody uh, just gonna namita ji your floor jan going back And this you come back. Let's do the Kapalvati in uh, Udar Apan Mudra. Your dear push, put it across like that. Sarvanji, kya hua? I was in the middle of Suri Namaskar. Was I? Nikal gaya. Nikal gaya. Papa, signal khatam ho gaya tha. Isme wo ek baat gap ke liye. Oh, it it threw me out. Oh. बैक का 
Let me just finish on the other side. I was. Yeah, yeah. What do we finish? What do we do? You know, yeah. what you say, asking me. That's what yeah, so um, I'm just doing the left side. If you have stopped, don't worry. I'll just finish on the other side because, or if you're doing a, so Namaste Mutra again. Deep now breathing in. Hasta Uttarasana. Then pushing your back behind, I mean, lower back behind. Keep breathing out, touching the feet or floor or how much ever you can bend. And then moving forward. Left leg behind, big breathing in, looking up or looking forward. Breathe out. Parvatasana. Breathe in, getting ready for pose. Five. Breathe in, breathe out both in this pose. Six. And now, Pujangasan, seven, eight, back to Parvatasan, nine, back to Asvasan, Chalanasan, ten, back to Padahastasan, eleven, back to Hastavtanasan, Raise down, pose, and 12, back to Namaskarasthiti or Pranamasa. So with that, we have finished um, four rounds of Surya Namaskar. Did it very slowly to make sure breathing in and out, you realize. And um, after Surya Namaskar, it is recommended that you kind of rest while standing up a little bit. So I generally use the tapping, but you can just stand and do deep long breathing, breathe out before you, because it is kind of bringing the heart rate down to moderate, right? To not drop it completely. Okay. And now, if you sit down, and I mean, you can actually set up your mat to do the back stretches. I uh, don't have much time, but we'll see. We'll do the few basic ones. So if you can safely bring yourself down on the mat. And we'll do the Markatasan. Not Markatasan, Makarasan, sorry. Yeah, just lying down on your tummy, tucking your chin between it. I think all of you know, so I don't want to explain much. So one leg at a time. Try to hit your bottoms if you can as you are smiling all along and enjoying whatever we are doing. Because if you're looking to lose weight, it's not only how much you make your body work, you have to also balance it with um, poses or uh, practices which will also bring cool, cooling action or calming down. We keep your nervous system calm and cool. Okay. And this is this pose is quite nice for, you know, bringing the calmness in you. That's why we are doing this as the first thing after we have done the physical exercise. Okay, next one. We'll do Bhujangasan. We did the because we are limited, we did do the twisty one today first. But if you find the twisty one hard, you can still do the normal one for Bhujangasan. And so bring your palms on both sides, lift your legs. Okay, so come up, make sure to keep your bottom muscle tightened all the time. Okay, so breathe in. As I said, if you don't want to do this twisty one, you want to do the normal one, you can practice if you find it this hard. So twist on the right side, look over your right shoulder, look at your left heel, Hold it, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, come down. Breathe in, twist on the other side, left side. One, two, three, four, five. Come down and then join the feet together. Now this one, you can even do more number of times if you, so you can do it in a stretchy mode, hold the pose and feel the stretch. Or if you want to 
you know, work out a bit more. You can even do it like this. Suppose the first one itself, because you are looking to weight loss. But keep your bottom muscle tightened all the time. Or you can do the other pose, right palm on top of the left pose. Okay, keep your bottom muscle tightened. But you have to make sure to balance it with coming down after that. Don't straight away go for another um, work. So the way best way to come down after you have done Kujangasana is right palm on top of the left palm, forehead resting on top of the palms, just some normal breathing do that. We'll do salvasan as well. So tuck your, bring your legs together and tuck your, I normally make Adi Mutra, but you can just simply take your palms underneath and keeping your chin or forehead on the floor, lift one leg up at a time. Okay, we'll do the, Second variation, one fist on top of the lower back, other palm up, hand up, opposite leg up, deep long breathing, come up, one, two, three, four, five, come down. We'll swap the hands and the leg, and come up again with deep long breathing, one, two, three, four, five, relax, come down. As you are coming down, now grab hold of one hand's wrist with the other. Again, bottom muscle tighten. Breathe in, come up. Come up as much as you can because you're pushing the hands behind, but legs also, if you can manage, you can lift it up. Hold it. One, two, three, four. <coughs> come down and take a couple of breathing, breathe out. And now, if you are ready, roll over on your back. Now, Markatasin is excellent for your spine, for your lower back, but it also, because of the twisting action, it also helps to boost metabolism because it is helping to activate your Manipur Chakra, yeah? So, spread your hands, keep your legs together, breathe in. Drop the knees on right, look on the left. And if you are in a position to do Kaparvati in this pose, you can do. But not necessary if you choose not to. Breathe in, bring your knees up. Breathe out as you drop them on the left side. Again, if you are happy to do Kaparvati in this pose, Breathing, bring your knees up. Now split them more than shoulder width. And do the paint action again. Breathing, drop the knees on the right, on the other side, and Kapalbati. And breathing, come up. Breathe out. Drop on the other side. And Kapalvati again. Breathe in, come up. Relax. Bring your palms under your lower back. And cycling is one of the excellent ways to uh, work with your, you know, ab area. And that is one part where kind of we tend to get a lot of fat. Um, so 
cycling if you are able to, if you are in a position to do it, otherwise you can do leg cycling, but we'll go for cycling if you can manage. So one leg at a time or two legs together. Make sure to bring it all the way up to your chest and then stretch it all the way forward. The other way down. You have to do for any pose that we are showing, you have to do at least starting with one minute to five minutes to get the maximum benefit out of it. Okay. So not just few rounds which we can manage in the session if you're really looking for weight loss. So that is something you have to do. Take few pose, practice starting with 30 seconds, one minutes, and up to five minutes. And I said up to five minutes, that means uh, depending on the body condition, you will not immediately go for five minutes. Okay, now relax. Because of weight loss, one more pose will do where we can still do Kapalabhati. Okay, so take your hands out by the side of your bottoms and say to Bandhasana. Okay, so push your feet, tighten your bottom muscle. And you could even, if you find it hard to keep it up, Use your hands to keep it up, and if you can manage the power. But keeping in mind, if you have any heart condition, high BP, I won't encourage you doing this. You can skip this. And gently bring the soul down. And relax completely. Just leave yourself the palms open. Come back to normal breathing. Breathe out. Keep your eyes closed. Keep smiling. Just a few quiet moments, quiet seconds to give yourself the time that you need. And because you are thinking of weight loss in this session, think of all the things that we have done so far. And as you're relaxing, you're thinking about which are the exercises I would like to practice and make sure I'm religiously going to practice. And as Sarenji said, make sure you're looking at your diet as well, your lifestyle, your sleeping pattern, because everything comes into picture. They're like a individual pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Okay. And the main thing, main chakra, which it's not the main chakra, all the chakras work in tandem to give us the optimum benefit. So we are going to bring our attention gathering up energy that we have generated from this session and bringing that energy to refill all the chakras, which are all energy centers, which are al aligned along the line of the spine. So first energizing, refilling Muradha chakra or root chakra, and then move up to sacral chakra, Swadhisthan chakra, and energize the Manipur Chakra, which is the second brain where most of the functions of our body is controlled. And then energizing, just literally visualize energizing your heart chakra. And then moving up, energizing your throat chakra, third eye chakra, third eye chakra. It's really ready to package everything and deliver it to crown chakra. And crown chakra is definitely making sure every bit of energy that we generated is now part of our system. Making sure that it doesn't escape from our body. It is realized by each and every cell of our body. And that is why we need to always give ourselves some time even after the session. So your body, your brain understands what we have done to ourselves. 
and appreciates it and then makes it part of our system. And that is how we you know that we have successfully connected our body, our mind, our soul. Let's wrap our hands. Nicely feel the warmth and bring it on top of your eyes. Open your eyes. Feel the tranquility, the calmness. And also, this helps us to appreciate what we have done. And if you're ready to rise up, gently roll over to the left side. Bring yourself. You can get into any sitting pose that is comfortable for you. Still keep your eyes closed if that's okay. I normally sit in Bhattrasana or Bhattagonasana, which kind of helps me to settle down after I rise up from the floor. And just keep smiling all along, keeping eyes closed. And if you're ready, then bring yourself back into the room by keeping your, I mean, by opening your eyes. And next, we can do um, Simhasan, and then we'll finish the session with Omkara and prayer. So Simhasan is one good way to <clears throat> activate your thyroid glands. And of course, it is also very calming, helps to bring a lot of coolness in the body. Okay, so let's do Simhasan. Any pose, wherever you are, chair, or you can even stay cross-legged. Let's do that. Second time. very lively and animated type. Don't be doing, don't do it in a serious way. Okay. We will do three times Omkara which is with Git Pranayam. Any, any sitting pose that is suitable to you. Uh, Sit in prana, just observe our own breathing in and out peacefully. And relax. Ravanji, do you want to do anything else or do we do prayer? Just do the prayer. Thank you very much. Navita is always excellent. Sorry I didn't give you much time, but did excellent. Thank you. Yeah. 
So let's pray together. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramayaha, sarve bhadrani pashantu, makashi dukha bhagavit. Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, brityor ma amrutam gamaya. Sahana bhavatu, sahana bhunaktu, sahbiriyam karva vahai, tejasvina vaditamastu, ma vitveshavahi. Om shanti. Shanti, Shanti. Let's cross our hands, bow down if you can. To pay gratitude to whole Mother Earth and to our gurus, our parents, God we believe in. And also let's promise to look after them. Let's spread the word of yoga wherever we go, wherever we can. Let's educate and enlighten more and more people to make yoga as part of their daily routine, their life. Okay, let's rub our thumbs. First, keep it on our face one more time. Then on our head. And then bring that yogic energy down, which we have created again to all over our body to maintain the positivity that we have created. With that, we have I have done my part seven uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, oh. I was asking you to ask, uh, you know, Lekaji, can you do yoga tomorrow? Lekaji, unmute yourself, please. Lekaji. I think Sarvanji, uh, take me off the spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah, Lekaji sorry. in spotlight. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. I'm just thinking it's a bit slow. Good morning. That was a lovely session. Yes. Uh, Sunday tomorrow is not a problem. That's right. Can you do it tomorrow? Then, fair enough. Of course, uh, yes. Your, your, order, your order, my command, Guruji. No, no, no. no. Thank <laughs> you very much. No, no. Thank you very much. Nice. No, well, it's nice just to give people different variety. People enjoy your class as well. So if you tomorrow, uh, the chair yoga, we can do on the floor as well. Whichever you want. You know, you, you're, you're in control anyway. What do we like to do? Oh, for tomorrow, you want... Okay, so we can do mixture. Yeah, yeah, one thing, but it's, it's called chair sure. yoga. We can do that on floor, but people sitting on the chair can still do the same thing, whatever they can do, either whichever way you want, you know. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you, uh, Navita Ji oh. and everybody else. For Thank you, Navita. We're looking forward for the Rekha Ji. Rekha Ji doing very good. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, That's what I saw. Not I saw. Not I Bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Sawang, Sawang, I'd like to ask about a bottle, yellow bottle. Could you show me again, please? I will take a picture. Uh, let me just highlight myself first. Bottle? I'll, bottle, I'll put yellow that. bottle, yellow jar. Uh, yeah. Oh, vitamin D. Uh, no. D3. Three. Three. Vitamin D3 and K3. Okay. Which, which brand is that? The brand is my, you can go and Google and find it. You know, I bought I bought another two bottles yesterday from the from the Google came in uh, to Amazon. It came to the Amazon, you know. I don't sell these, you can just buy them through online. That's why I take it. Can you bring it closer, <laughs> please? Thank you. Vitamin D3 K2. Thank you. Yeah, Sarvanji, if you can post the picture. Yeah, yeah, I'll post the picture the also. I'll post the uh, detail about vitamin K2 and D3 as well on my D3 yoga D3. thumb. So you can have a detail. Is it suitable for that. vegetarian, Sarvanji? Eh, suitable for something. vegetarian? Eh, Vegans. I didn't see that. Eh, I haven't seen Yes, vegetarian friendly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Vegetarian, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, and also, also, what I'm saying is, have a lovely day. I look forward to Rekaji tomorrow. And, uh, excellent. Thank you very much. I, I hope you enjoyed it a bit. And also, tomorrow, I want to know from people after the class, it's almost been a week now, if anybody had lost any weight in the last week. I'm, up to this morning, I've lost one and a half kilo. Oh, my. Tell me tomorrow, Jackie. And also, I said to you, for a whole month of January, I'm not going to save. I will keep like a, become like a Santa Claus for the whole, whole month of January to make sure I lose. I, I remember my pledge to lose weight. 
I don't forget. So if I eat a chocolate, if I see a chocolate, I don't eat it. I, I put it in the fridge. <laughs> you have to make your mind stronger. And another thing is, you know that 75 uh, crore uh, sun salutation? Mm. Um, yeah. I have taken a part. I've started yes. off from the, from the, the fifth. Uh, I've done Surya Namaskar, isn't it? That's uh, right, yeah. Sorry, yes, that, yes. Yeah. I've started off with 10, then 13, then 15, and Saturday is today, so I will do more today. And I... Oh, okay. because I put that in, I put that in a WhatsApp group as well, where people want to do it, they can register and do it from... But the problem is, the what Swami is doing is, is for record keeping. So there's somebody monitoring them as well. The, what yeah. we're doing is just a gesture. It's not actually no, practical. No, no. I have sent an email and they asked me to put uh, every day's record. So I, I no, said no, I, I want to put 500. You put the record, but the problem is it's not the proof. Uh, somebody needs to monitor you. Oh. One, they're doing it, one doing in South, uh, South India, somebody there monitoring them how they're doing it, are doing it properly or not. Mm -hmm. Because it's become good in the world record as well. No, but what we're doing is, it's like a good gesture. The so is world, worldwide, we can do so many. That's what you're doing is excellent. I'm not, I'm not downsizing it. But all I'm saying is, what Swami is doing is, to get the, in the world record book, they're doing 70,000, 75 million uh, Namaskar within one month, something like that. That's what they're trying to do. But somebody need to monitor that as well, probably. So I'm sure mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. do as well. So you can take a place as well to do that. Anytime. You know, yeah, I've that. been um, thinking of it, but I haven't registered. Thank you, Rekhaji, for bringing it up. I will also register. I will, uh, I will share the link with uh, Sir Sarvan I'll, put the, then... I'll put the link in. I'll put the link in the, my yoga with Sam as well. It's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. I've done that all day. So people can downsize that. You can give me again, doesn't matter. It is, it is lovely. I wanted something like this because I did last me, year. That's uh, why I gave you directly. You asked me before. So when I got the information through Swarji, and obviously he's in India just now. Sure, so he's sure, got, sure. He had all the information. Yeah. So right. have a lovely weekend, sure. everybody, and see you tomorrow. I look forward see to you. Uh, see oh, you tomorrow. Bye. Thank oh, you. Oh, bye. bye. Yes, Shri Krishna. Yes, thank you, Krishna. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 B